this is a package I received today. It's just arrived, a jiffy bag, and we have a look inside. Documentation, a receipt, and a regulatory compliance and safety information sheet for a Raspberry Pi. And there's one boxed Raspberry Pi. Let's have a look at that. Open the box up and have a look inside. In some anti static packaging. It's very light, it weighs 45 grams. Get rid of that. And there you go. One Raspberry Pi computer. It's uh, quite a small thing. It's credit card size. I'll put it next to a uh, a business card. There you go. You can have a, have a look. Actually, the same size as my business card. Business card. Uh, the business card can hide behind it just about. There you go. Um, right. Let's have a look around it. It's quite a small, neat thing. Let's see if we can get it in focus. There you go. In the middle of there, there's um, a processor it's running at 700 mega megahertz. It's an ARM2 processor. It's uh, it's just in there and on the for the graphics, and that's a Broadcom BCM2835 graphics chip, and uh, it's quite a good chip. It can run 1080p Blu-ray quality at uh, 30 frames a second so look on the end got a couple of USB ports on the end got a networking port look further around the board there's uh, a socket that's for um, headphones speakers next to it is a composite uh, video output so that's a composite RCA port and what it can do it can run to PAL or NTSC so you can plug that straight into an old style television here there's eight general purpose in out pins that's going to be used for a variety of boards to add on so uh, you see a lot of boards being manufactured in future that link up to these and you, you can also dial, uh, connect these uh, to switches and so on but uh, you probably need a few components to buffer because that's completely unbuffered so if there's any shorts or anything it could affect the circuitry on the board so I'd probably look at doing some uh, electronics between any kind of switches and these in out pins let's have a look around if you have a look underneath there there's a socket for an SD card I'll come back to that in a minute let's have a look further around ah. There's the micro USB for the power. That's the power that goes there. Just a normal phone charger will do for this. And uh, I think it's just any standard phone charger. Oh, there's two models, isn't there? There's a Model A and a Model B. This is a Model B uh, computer, and I think the the power for this is just slightly higher than for the Model A. So you need a 700 milliamp. Um, power supply for this one. Let's have a look further around. What have we got here? We've got HDMI out. So, out of the HDMI, you can run straight to your HDMI television. So, uh, the it's got 14 HDMI resolutions from 640 by 350 up to 1920 by 1200. And uh, so, just pull that straight into your television. And uh, and it runs various PAL and NTSC standards. And then um, we're back round to the RJ45 networking port. If I can get it in quite close, you can have a look on the board there. There you can see the logo in the middle of Raspberry Pi. 
I'm trying to do it slowly. Give you a good look at it. As you can see, it is quite small, quite neat. Should be able to get this in quite close. And we'll have a look underneath. And there you go, underneath you can uh, you can see the uh, two USB ports are just sticking out slightly on the end there. And the TV output sticks out a little bit. And uh, we'll look close. A few surface mount components. And over on the end there's a, a socket for a, an SD card. This has got uh, 256 meg of RAM that's on the board already but what you do you plug an SD card in here and that gives you your operating system and some storage just to give you an idea of size that's an SD card so in comparison you can see it's uh, the board is quite small quite small and neat and the SD card plugs in like that and there you go that's a fully assembled Raspberry Pi waiting to be plugged in and so to plug it in and get it working you just plug it into your uh, TV or to your television or monitor via HDMI you put some power in the end and then use the USB ports to plug your keyboard or mouse in uh, if you plug a keyboard and mouse in there that would take both ports so what you would do is you would probably uh, connect that to a USB hub and then plug your keyboard and mouse into there and that's the Raspberry Pi. Quite a neat device. I'll get it close so you can have a good look. And look, that's a box that uh, I put business cards in. That's a business card box. And you see, Raspberry Pi without the SD card fits in there quite easily so fits in there quite well so what I'm going to do get a different box for it obviously but for now it's a nice home for the Raspberry Pi and there you go that's the Raspberry Pi computer